Say, we love Jesus. We love Jesus. How about you? How about you? We love Jesus. We love Jesus. La di da. Yes, we do. Thank you. <laughs> Pastor Al, this is Dean Coles. He was wearing Pastor Al. Dean, God bless you, brother. Amen. Hey, man. Great Pleasure to meet you, brother. Meet you. Yes. God He's bless good you Good to be here. Amen. He's with City Connects and they're part of Compact. Can pray and some of us already say amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Joshua 1.9 is what scripture came in. It's, Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Be not afraid nor dismayed. For wherever you go, I'll be with you. So when God calls you, it can be scary. You know, it can be challenging. And so I remember thinking like, man, I can't do this. I'm going to do this. I don't know nothing about this. And in a matter of time, God's beginning to unveil the, the vision more and more. And so I kept hearing that, oh, no, he had kids not having nothing to do. So when you have kids not having to do, just like Dean said, there's bound to get in trouble, you know, sitting around, not doing anything. Gave my life to Christ, and from that point on, the age of 12, I turned my whole life around. Changed my whole course in life, my destiny, because um, I knew that you know the path was taking me to destruction. I knew it. Um, so we started going to church on Fridays, have a Bible study, and start growing in Christ. And all my friends um, were shocked when they saw a change in me because I was I was very very angry and full of rage and just very mean. Path in Christ, He accepted me for who I was. He accepted me. Even how bad I was, he accepted me. I felt the love of Christ. I felt his love. I said, from this day forward, I dedicate my life to Jesus. That's why I'm so passionate about these camps. You know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of sacrifice and dedication. But when, when people come to Christ, that makes all everything worthwhile. Hey guys, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Cooking up the grill. All right. This is a wonderful... Wonderful setup here. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. They look like duck feet. Oh. <laughs> 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 Good job, guys. We did that in an hour and a half. Look at this. Okay, go ahead. Pack up all our basketball equipment and, and um, tables and sound equipment, transport everything. We go set up like the military, go right. on site and spreading topsoil uh -huh. all over. Um, Erica Rosenberg is, is the person that Hi, Erica. Her husband's in the military, yeah. he's deployed right now, and okay, so helping out. Amen, um, Erica, today. And uh, great, yeah, wheelbarrows, a bunch of shovels and rakes over there. Uh, Spread it all out. I'm a mature boxer, and right now I'm training for nationals. So nationals is at the Olympic Training Center about 12 days. So be careful, because she'll knock you out. <laughs> <laughs>
and um, just giving us the opportunity to build the kingdom and serve and do what God has called us to do. This particular family is husbands deployed in the military and I love the sacrifice and the commitment our military has helped our country to enjoy these freedoms and sometimes it's taken for granted the needs of the families and so we're glad to be served here. Hi I'm Ann McDonald and um, we're just serving here with um, City Connects. I'm just really thankful that God has put this group together. Well I think so many times we think we need to go to another country to serve and we forget that there are people in our own neighborhoods that um, they can't afford to hire landscapers and, and they need encouragement from other Christians. So. And organizing her, uh, her garage. All right, good deal. Big horn sheep. Yep. Good job, guys. Did he mean to do that? <laughs> yeah, Rex. How's the water, brother? Oh, that was good, Jim. What do you think? Cold. Cold. Good job, Jake. What a compliment. Into our world. 